Hello again, it's Nuo Master, and today I will be showcasing two new redstone devices that I've been making. The first one that I'm going to showcase is a binary to analog converter, which is the reverse of my analog to binary converter that I have over here. Um, first I'll show it working. So this is one, turn on one, and the output's one. Uh, let's turn on two, and that'll output two. Turn on four, and outputs the four. And eight, outputs eight. That is indeed eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you you can combine these, so well, obviously it's binary. One plus two is three. Um, maybe f we could do five. That's five. Or all of them would be fifteen. That goes all the way down to the end. So, how did I accomplish this? It's actually pretty simple. It's not intuitive right away to think of how to do this, but once once you know it, it's like, oh yeah, you can do that. So, you can't add signals with comparators, but you can subtract. So what I did was I set up a line of these comparators that subtract 8, 4, 2, and 1 from 15. So this one would subtract 1, and so this, this signal right here, the one I'm standing on, this would be 14. And then it subtracts that number again from 15. So 15 minus 14 is 1. And it would output 1. If I put in 2 here, it would take 2 away from 15 and then another 1 away from 15. So this right here would be 12. 15 minus 12 is 3. And that's how it adds them together. So now that's 3. Uh, another example would be turning them all on. It would take away 8, 4, 2, and 1 from the 15, and then there'd be nothing left here. So 15 minus 0 would be 15, and it outputs 15 down here. Uh, one more example. Uh, let's try 5. Uh, take away, you don't take away 8. Do take away a 4, so you have 11. Don't take away a 2. Take away a 1. So you have 10, 15 minus 10 is 5, and you have 5 right here. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Uh, these, these hoppers, I should explain this, these hoppers are filled with items. I just did this to make it more compact. The items output a certain signal length, and when you subtract it from 15, since these these levers output 15 and then you subtract a certain number to get the number you want so uh, like this one this would be uh, 14 15 minus 14 is 1 so that would be a 1 right there and that's how I get the signals for these lines right here alright next thing I have to show this is a super duper optimized version of this. I spent about an hour trying out designs and eventually this is what I came up with. It's, it's the same, it works the same as this one, but it doesn't use pistons. It only uses one comparator per layer for the top. It still uses two for the bottom, um, with the, the bottom layer being the subtract. And uh, so yeah, it's faster, obviously more compact. It doesn't have that weird stagger that this one does, or it goes diagonal. This one doesn't do that either. Um, it also makes use of these hoppers again, like over there, uh, just to show you that it works. That's 15. That's 14. Uh, 13. You can see it's a lot faster. 12, 
11, 10, 9, 8, uh, etc. Uh, just to show a couple down here, 3, 4, 5, and uh, why not 1. So, these top, I'm going to explain how this works even though I already explained that one just because this is so drastically different. Um, well, the layout, it still works the same. Uh, this top, these top comparators up here are the main transfer line. It's equivalent to uh, these, this line. Oh, crap. I'll fix that later. Um, and then, so these would be the part that blocks it if you can take away that certain number. So if you can take away an 8, which is given by this, and this, these both of these give an 8, that gives an 8, that gives an 8. If you can take away an 8, this one decides if you can take away an 8. If you, if you can, blocks this right here, and outputs, and then it takes away an 8, and outputs it here. And then it does it again for each layer, like I explained in the first video. It's just a lot more compact. I'm pretty happy with this design. Yeah, I'm really proud of it. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon.